Well, I'm here talking with my good friend Andrew Beatty, and Andrew, we've been having kind of an ongoing discussion about anchors. What's your theory on uh, on anchoring big kites? Uh, I think I think the fundamental thing to, to consider when when you're anchoring a big kite is what's going to happen when it goes wrong, right? Because all uh, all anchoring systems will fail at some point. So so uh, whether the line breaks or the kite breaks or the strap breaks or the anchor fails. So, some, something at some point when it goes overstrained is going to fail and you've got a fundamental th thing that you need to consider which is what do you want to fail uh, I think I, I think often the the, the worst choice uh, uh, particularly in a beach like this would be would, would be a stake which, which will work, work loose and simply become a missile he heading heading downwind across the, the, the uh, the field uh, doing such, such things as parting Peter Lynn's hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you Which would might say, be amusing, but <laughs> so you would say if we, when the anchor fails, you want it to fail slowly. Is that a fair statement? Uh, I want, I, I want to th think in advance about what is going to fail. All right? It, um, uh, so you might, you might have something which is really massive. Uh, it's just a Sherman tank or a, or, or, or a, or a Hummer or something uh, where, where, where you can be sure that the thing that's going to fail is the line and not the anchor. Okay, See, but, but, but that, that's impractical. He, here in Burke we're provided with uh, some, some concrete posts which, which we have here, which Kathleen's kindly sitting on to model. <laughs> but we don't count her as, as part, part. We don't count her as part of the ballast for the for the anchoring system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, but, uh, let me ask you a different question. Do yeah. I, I understand you and your team have uh, have 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 set a, a unusually large number of big kites on one anchor point? Yes, I wasn't there for for this event, and I'm I'm personally not entirely comfortable. With, with the anchoring system that we used here, because we we had 15 maxi and four midi kites on one anchor, anchored to to a couple of vehicles, and still pretty remarkable. 19 kites at one anchor <laughs> yeah, point, but yeah. <laughs> but, but, I, but I'm I'm not entirely convinced that we had enough anchor. Right, <laughs> uh, if the if, if the wind speed doubles as as had done at other time, times in that week, the amount of pull pull goes up by by four. Uh, and we have a fairly substantial problem. <laughs> uh, so, well, uh, well, I'm going to cut you off because we're running out of tape, but I want to thank you for giving us a few ideas here and sharing uh, your education, because the more we talk about this stuff, the better we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I just want to find, find anchors that, that aren't going to hurt people. Very good. Thank okay. you, Hendrick. Thank you.